I'm Pushy6, welcome to the channel. If you like the video, subscribe. Anyway, let's talk about what's behind me here. The brand new Cat D11 Next Gen, packed full of features. Anyway, a few months back, I flew out to Arizona to the Cat Training Improving Grounds in uh, Tanaha Hills. Anyway, I had a chance to hop in this big beast and kind of see, you know, what's new with it, a bunch of new features and whatnot. But prior to me going inside the dozer, it rained for several days. Now, the type of dirt that they have out there holds a lot of moisture. Now, it may look dry on top. It's kind of solid. Um, but below that, you go down about a meter and all the water is pooled and uh, it's very soft, very saturated. So, uh, as I was slot dozing, trying to push up piles on each side, just kind of, just trying to test out the dozer really on flat ground. Didn't really have nothing to build or no task to do. So, I was just trying to dig a big hole basically to see what the dozer can do and uh when i got a little bit deeper as you'll see um i was having a hard time trying to uh push up because my tracks were getting a little bit stuck it was a little bit wet down there and uh the dozer does have like two feet of clearance but i was at that two feet so i was having a hard time trying to trying to back out of that deep spot that i dug but anyway let's go inside the dozer and have a look here we go, I'm inside the D11. I got her all warmed up, time to push some dirt. So I'm just gonna walk over uh, to a flat area there. I don't really have any dirt to push, so I'm gonna make my own dirt to push. I'm gonna dig a hole, do some pushing in some different directions. I'm uh, gonna climb a pile that I push and test the balance, but uh, I'm going over there. As I go there, I'm kind of testing out the steering and stuff. Still clutch steering, still skids back and forth, super smooth, lots of finesse, way more control. Let's do my first push. I'm in first gear, got my blade pitched back all the way. Just gonna do a nice easy cut here, see what happens. blade is very responsive. If you look at the joystick, I always have to compensate for what's going on in front of me. The blade reacts so fast. Electric over hydraulic. Gotta love it. I got my blade pitched all the way back. Pitch it forward. As you just seen there at the end of my push, I typically always pitch the blade ahead all the way. So when I shift into reverse, kind of jolts the dozer and helps the dirt fall off the blade easier. The shape of this blade, it's a U-blade and it uh, has a lot of curve to it. It's meant to hold and carry dirt with the shape. So uh, sometimes it's hard to get the wet, sticky dirt off. I always uh, tend to practice this at the end of my push. Now when I'm reversing, I'm pitching the blade back all the way so when I get back to my starting point, it's already there and I can start cutting. Let me just say that I hate auto shift. When I'm dozing, I like to be in control of my gearing, like right there. I was in first done my push I'm going back for another one I want to be in second the thing I don't like about the auto shift is there always seems to be a delay and it doesn't know exactly when it wants uh, or when you want to change gears so I like to be in control let's talk a bit about the vision of this dozer now the blade is 12 feet high and uh, in a D11, most times, you can't see within 100 feet of your blade. So you always need to look way in advance to kind of remember where the objects were and how close you're getting to it. Um, the blade is so big on this big girl and uh, it's hard to see exactly what you're doing. It's hard to see how much dirt you're pushing. That's why I like the lower tablet screen right there. It's showing a 360 view of the dozer. It's also showing you how much dirt you're pushing 
in front of your blade. You know, there's uh, holes in the, in the top of the blade there. So you can see the dirt as it, it's curling or uh, about to build up. But uh, I love this camera setup. You see behind you, you can change a bunch of different settings in it, whatnot. Pick specific views, but I love the view where it's showing you how much you're pushing, what's in front of your blade, and what's coming. So what I'm doing here is I spun around, I pushed a pile, I spun around, I'm going to climb the pile, I want to push downhill a little bit, and I want to push uh, this slot in the other direction, build a pile on the other side. Going slow here in first gear. I am uh, roughly a meter deep now, I do believe, or a little bit more, and I found some water, found some uh, wet, heavy, heavy clay mixed with some rock. So I'm in first gear pushing, having a hard time trying to get a full blade load here. Um, I'm going deeper and deeper and deeper, you'll see, and uh, I have a bit of a hard time trying to get out of the deepest spot of that dip of the hole that I'm digging. What I'm doing with this push is I'm, I'm trying to push the limits of this machine. I'm trying to put as much drag as I can on this dozer. You know, it's wet, trying to fill the blade, and I'm trying to put lots of downforce on it, forcing it to cut this uh, wet material and try to plow through it. You know, I, I'm seeing what this dozer can actually do. And uh, as I go deeper and deeper, it gets harder and harder and harder, but overall it performs extremely well. I just wish I could have been slot dozing down a big hill with some dry material, but overall, awesome experience.
see how well she pushes in a second. What I'm doing here exactly is I'm gonna fill in half of my hole. I really didn't have a lot of time on this machine, so I didn't really do much other than dig a hole, uh, push them both ways. 